Hey, it's Heidi Rain. Welcome home and welcome back for another episode of Addiction, Codependency, and Toxic Relationship Recovery. Today, we're going to hit the topic of settling. I could not be more excited about talking about settling to you because I remember not so long ago when I asked myself a very important question that literally changed the trajectory of my life. And, you know, Tony Robbins says all the time, and I'm sure he heard it somewhere else too. If you want to have better answers in your life, you have to learn to ask better questions. There's a lot of power in the right question. That's why when you work with somebody, you work with a coach and they can ask you that one question and you go, oh my God, I never thought of it that way before. And in that one moment, it changes your life forever. Now, up until this moment in the past, and if you're listening to this in succession, it's the new year. So happy new year. It's January. And we make a lot of resolutions, right? Every year. In fact, I was one of those people that when the secret first came out, who who remembers when the secret first came out, right? That it was this underground DVD and you couldn't get it unless you knew a friend of a friend of a friend and it would pass it along. Well, I happened to be working in Vancouver at the time doing some business consulting and training for a company. And I got it from a hypnotherapist because at the time I couldn't sleep. I had like insomnia and I couldn't sleep. So he gave me this and I thought, yes, this is going to change my life. This new, new radical approach of the law of attraction. And I'm going to call in what it is that I want. And so I spent many years, just like you did, I'm sure, making your vision boards. You know, it was a huge deal, like vision board parties. I remember one time we had a vision, we had a couple of times we had vision board parties at our house where it was like we collected all these magazines and, you know, friends would come over and we get the poster board and we'd have like, you know, hors d'oeuvres and, and everybody spread out all over the place, making their vision boards. And it was fun. And actually when I used to work in the drug and alcohol treatment center when I ran several groups there. One of them was like an art therapy group. And I had the, the clients in the drug and alcohol treatment center make vision boards for their life. So I'm not downing this. I know the power of a vision board. I know the power of sitting down every year and asking yourself what you want your life to look like. But there's this whole other crowd of us, this whole other group of people who we're okay at making the vision board and we can do that, but we struggle a little bit because instead of thinking about what we really want to create in our lives and calling in the home and the stuff and the things and the experiences and the ideal relationship, we put the cart before the horse because a better question to ask ourselves instead of what do I really want? The first question you have to ask yourself before you ask that question is, what am I no longer willing to tolerate? What am I no longer willing to settle for? And I found in my own life, that is the number one question that continues to change my life over and over again. But here's the crazy thing. You don't know when you're settling. You know, so it's like you could Google how to stop settling. Yeah. And you're, you hear advice, right? You're, you're sharing your problems with other people and they're like, girl, you can, you need to stop settling, honey. You are worth so much more than what you're settling for, you know? And, 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 and we all have heard that term, you know, Hey, this is not what you, this is less than what you deserve. You know, you're settling. And like, there's a piece of us, there's a part of us that goes, that's probably true, but there's a whole nother part of us person I'm talking to now, which is a version of myself, which goes like this. Yeah, maybe I'm settling or maybe I'm asking for too much. Maybe my expectations are too high. So this is the conversation I want to have with you today is not how to stop settling. How do you stop settling? You fucking stop settling. It's not rocket science, right? You stop the shit you're doing that's settling and you do something else. Okay. That not you're smart and I'm smart. It's not that we want to figure out how to stop settling. It's that we want to figure out first, identify we're actually settling in the first place because that's where the loop that you get stuck in.